While the high school basketball playoffs are in full swing, the postseason at the Division III level has arrived. The Moravian men and women hosting Catholic this past Saturday knowing a win would give the Greyhounds a home court advantage in Wednesday's landmark conference semifinals. We take to the action game number one in girls action. Greyhounds honoring their seniors, also wearing pink for its annual Play for K game to raise money for K Yao Cancer Fund. One of those seniors, Camille McPherson, goes inside for the basket. She goes for 10. Liberty High School product Maddie Capuano does what she does best, hits the three-pointers, an 11-point lead. Then off the rebound, the turnaround by Carly Brogan. The Greyhounds go up by 14 points, but here comes Catholic. Michelle DeSantis nails the three-pointer. Then to the other side of the floor, Bridget Power. An 18-4 run, Catholic up by the half, 32-30. to Second half we go, Nadine Ewald, the parking product, with 10 points and 15 rebounds. Back to Capuano. She drains the three. Back and forth we go, tied at 52. But a three by Peyton Smith with 14 seconds left would prove to be the difference. Catholic wins 57-54, Moravian the three seed. They'll be at Scranton on Wednesday. We played our hearts out, and I can't fault their effort. Yeah, you know, we had opportunities. Uh, we, we made some stops, but ball didn't go in when we wanted it to. And, you know, give credit to Catholic. They made a big shot when uh, they needed it. Uh, yeah, it was a great game. Uh, and obviously, just having this atmosphere was, was great. But, uh, yeah, we wanted it to be a little bit different uh, ending, but that's the way it goes. We went into it knowing it was going to be a tough game, and we put it all out there tonight. Fortunately, came up three short, so hopefully we'll just come back in playoffs and get them back for that one. To men's action we go. Four seniors honored before opening tip. A win would clinch the Greyhounds, the number two seed in the tournament. Jimmy Murray gets things going here with the three-pointer. Nothing but cotton for him. Then inside they go to Brandon McGuire. He makes it look so easy. Moravian up by double digits in this one. Jay Howard then goes straight through the defense. How about the basket count it? And the foul, he was a huge factor. Outside, we go to three by Lewis Corey. He goes for 16 points. Back to Moravian, we go. C.J. Barnes from the corner. 43-38, Moravian on top at the break. To the second half, we go. Straight through the paint for two more. Is Murray, he goes for 11. Moravian back up by a dozen. Howard would try to lead a comeback. He goes for 29 points on the night. Then Andrew, Andre Mitchell follows. He goes for 15, closes the gap to three, but the Greyhounds too much. McGuire inside for the lay-in, finishes with 23 points. Sean Hanna with the three, he goes for 21. Moravian, the two seed, they win 90 to 82. They will host Susquehanna on Wednesday. 11 and three, a three-way tie for first, but they get the I two thought seed. From start to finish, we played Moravian basketball, which is something we try to stress to our guys every day. Um, we had the pace pretty much where we wanted it. We got up in the in the 90s in scoring. Uh, we we defended well in stretches, not as complete as I want us to be. Uh, but I think the thing that makes us dangerous is we got a complete team. We had a lot of guys score the ball. We shared it pretty well. Um, so I just thought it was a really good effort from start to finish for us. It was a big one. Um, we needed this to host a playoff game, so uh, Coach Potts just told us, like, we really, we really got to win this one. So walking through it, I guess you could say from beginning to end, it was it's everything we had.